Hello friends, good evening. Today I am deep diving into Odoo version 19 inventory valuation. Earlier we could use separate inventory valuation account for different product category. So let's see whether it's working in version 19 or not. So here I have standard inventory valuation account which I am giving as grocery and then I am creating a new inventory valuation account that is called inventory valuation for my medicines you know product so i have two separate accounts to hold my two separate product inventory and now over here if i go to product category what i will do i will create grocery where I will use perpetual method and then in general accounting in inventory I will say perpetual and average costing and I am keeping it open like this so I am not defining any general valuation account over here and then in product category I am defining everything over here and then I will use product sales and cost of goods sold for my grocery and over here I will define grocery account now I will create a new category for medicine and then I will define this under medicine and cost of goods sold is there so let me create separate product sales and cost of goods sold account for this so product sales grocery and then I will create a new income account product sales medicine and then cost of revenue cost of goods sold grocery and I am creating new account cost of goods sold medicine once it is done I will replace these things over here so I will register sales and then cost of goods sold in separate separate account and I am going to use perpetual now what happens I am going to make some purchase for my product so let me define some products like medicine one which goes into medicine category and then grocery one which goes into grocery category so it's done and now if I'm going and creating my order like medicine I'm buying 10 units and grocery I'm buying 10 units 20 each so let me create a warehouse first so I am going and creating the warehouse so once it is done the routes are automatically created and then I am going to buy medicine one and then grocery one and then confirm the order and receive the things so over here when I go to accounting I can see no valuation and then I can see this inventory valuation medicine and grocery as separate account with miscellaneous expenses as credit because it is coming from default accounting setting so over here 
if I go and check my default settings, this miscellaneous expenses has been given over here as an expense account. So over here, I can also convert into cost of revenue. And then now over here, I can see it is working nicely. I can have two separate things. And then I will just go into my purchase order and book the bill. So it will create two separate valuation entry for medicine and grocery, both the product. And over here, now it will be zero because everything seems perfectly right. Now what I will do, I will go and create sales for my grocery product and one for my medicine product and I deliver the things. So over here again in valuation entry it will show the difference under medicine and grocery because it is still in credit and customer invoices are not created hence it is showing the initial balance and ending balance because stock has gone out and once I generate entry I have to set the valuation account first then only the variation account will you know will give me the perfect entry so what I will do I will create another account for variation of stock so once that is there I need to set it over here like variation of stock for grocery and for medicine also we have to set variation of stock so let's say if i am even using different variation account let's say i want to keep all the variation separate so variation of stock for grocery will be different and variation of stock for medicine will be different and then over here I will change the variation account like this and then I will go and check so Odoo is giving all the separation perfectly and then so valuation account is must over here which is Odoo is giving me the error. So if I am setting any generic valuation account, let's say I have to create a new valuation account. So what happens here? So if I go in current asset and create one more generic valuation account and then I have to set it over here and then once I run over here then I can see entire summary and then system will pass the entry like this like inventory valuation medicine will be credited and stock valuation will be debited as soon as i am done with my sales delivery so delivery is done and now i create the invoice system will pass the perfect sales recognition and this cost of goods sold entry right now with inventory valuation as a perfect way and now when i go and review my inventory valuation it will reverse the entry from stock valuation debit and then variation of stock will credit because over here 
in my PNL now you can see the variation entries are holding over here and then in my balance sheet also I can see grocery and inventory valuation as a perfect way so to reverse it I will run again a general entry generate entry and I will pass that and then once I go and review everything seems perfect so with different inventory valuation account and different stock variation account Odoo 19 seems working nicely so hope this will help many people to set different valuation account different variation account with this method over here okay so let's run one more case where i will create a new company and then we will check the similar flow for periodic inventory valuation so now what i will do i will create a warehouse in my new c2 and then in accounting configuration I will set periodic, manual, then average, then I will set the standard valuation over here and then I will same way create two separate accounts over here. So in current asset I will create medicine stock account and then I will create grocery stock account and then over here in cost of revenue I will create COGS grocery and I will create COGS medicine so this is done as well as I will create more account for variation medicine variation grocery so my setups are done and then what I will do grocery I will set variation grocery and then in medicine stock I will set variation medicine so almost my setup is done and let's let's purchase the product or let's first see the category so grocery average periodic and then here COGS grocery and grocery stock is over here and then for medicine also COGS medicine and this valuation so I will keep medicine stock over here so COGS medicine and medicine stock will be there and then for my grocery COGS grocery and grocery stock accounts are set now let me create a purchase order for both the product so medicine buying and then grocery also I am buying within the same and I am receiving this now what I will do I will run 
the accounting report and then once I run then system will perfectly show me the variation of stock against medicine and grocery and then show me the closing balance also as a part of periodic and manual inventory evaluation there is no initial balance because system is not going to register the valuation for periodic stock now what i will do i will go to purchase and then create a vendor bill and confirm so cogs of grocery and medicine will be passed according to periodic inventory valuation and then no valuation will be registered at all because it's periodic and then once i go over here then system will show again the same variation medicine and medicine stock is now debit and grocery stock is debit at the same way if i want to pass and generate the entry system will create the valuation entry right now on my command okay but i will not do that let me delete it i am not going to do that but i will create a sales first and i am selling this item to my customer so i am selling medicine product one unit and then grocery product one unit and then i simply deliver and then again i am going into accounting and checking my valuation so over here now i am left with 270 dollar worth of inventory because some stock is went out and then if i generate entry system will perfectly pass the entry respective of the different accounts in our Odoo. so now medicine stock and grocery stocks are there and then in reporting in profit and loss entire you know cogs will be captured perfectly so now let me see our category again so in medicine over here now i go to sales and then create the invoice and then system will book my final income so income will go to the same account product sales and then if i run my profit and loss then i will see clear picture about my sales and cogs and then inventory variation over here okay so now in terms of periodic and perpetual if we want to set separate variation accounts separate income accounts separate cogs account per category we can achieve this hope this will help many people to configure uh, this way periodic as well as perpetual accounting method within Odoo. thank you guys have a good day